right, what's on my single chat? So there are a lot of leaks going around right now. We are hearing about the PS5 Pro. And in fact, an ex Rockstar dev also came out and he talks about why the PC ports are always delayed. And he also did touch on the fact that PlayStation is gonna be the primary platform, like they're gonna be leading platform, he said. And I quote, uh, most of the time, especially in the past, PlayStation was the big seller, he said. I will show you the video as well because there are a ton of leaks going around for the PS5 Pro that it's gonna have the 8K gameplay, the 4K gameplay, the 60 FPS. You could you imagine that GTA 6 is gonna be like 30 FPS on the PS5? And Xbox Series X, but 60 FPS of the PS5 Pro. That would be crazy. That would start on new WW5. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. If you love videos like these, uh, if you're new, definitely subscribe. Guys, check this out. Let's dive into why a PC port takes so long to come out after the initial console release. Now, we're okay. specifically going to be talking about high-end games like AAA games, like Rockstar Games develops, you know, when they release a port for GTA 5. Why does it take two years afterwards to come out or however long, right? Now, one of the main reasons why a PC port will take so long to come out after a console release is because the developers want to make it as best as possible and uh -huh. they have to work out all these little bugs that they haven't been kind of working on and putting to the side and they haven't seen yet right because one of the main things I want to touch on is that the reason why a PC port comes later and not like the first thing that comes out is because they want to prioritize what sells right mm. most of the time especially in the past playstation was like the big seller right playstation yeah. was like the console to have it sold more copies than any other console for the most part everybody's playing playstation so what the developer would do is they would focus all their energy on making sure the playstation port and the playstation game worked really good right and then they would t like kind of port it to the xbox like usually they would do at the same time okay so like when i was working over on grand theft auto 5 for instance we were concentrating on the ps5 or ps three and the xbox at the time right and but we were mainly pushing the ps3 to the limits because mm. the ps3 was like kind of better hardware at the that, time that that is absolutely insane that dog gta 5 came out on ps3 and 360 absolutely wild to play that was 10 years ago my guy that was 10 years ago and in 2025 it's gonna be 12 years since we had a new grand theft auto game i mean it totally makes sense though like the, uh, these things they, they want to prioritize playstation and xbox make the money because after all gta is gonna be a console a console seller dead ass though how many of you guys actually game on playstation how many of you game on xbox pc let me know what platforms you guys got because if you have a pc right now bro like that is that is sad because uh, we don't even have the release date for pc so these those things are definitely gonna wait two years before they draw time to, to use memory and different things and so we put all our energy into that and optimizing it the best we can for that console right <clears throat> then we kind of port that version to the xbox kind of simultaneously we're working on like both versions right and testing them and the pc version is kind of like the version that's in the background that is running the two versions right and and building them and there's always a pc version of the game but it's not quite like polished it's just kind of feeding the other games and making them work right i don't know if that makes yeah. sense but that's how i visualize it i i also do believe that uh maybe he's gonna talk about it or not but you know for i'm gonna let it out maybe he's actually gonna correct me and correct all of us because for the longest amount of time i also did assume that yeah right like they, they, they want to actually make a lot more money on the playstation first and secondly i really thought that they want to perfect it which he also did say uh because on pc it, it's like dog they want to make sure it can run on as many graphics cards on many systems as possible they want to make sure the game runs on the lowest graphics card uh possible because that's the way they, they want to sell their game simply they want to sell the game they want to make sure that a lot of people can play with the burna in gksx now when a when you kind of want to port the game now that you've got the game looking right let, let's say now you got the game looking really good on on playstation right it's playing really good it's got good fps everything's going pretty good very few bugs and it's ready to release to public well now you can start focusing on the pc port right i swear to god i did not watch this video bro i swear to god <gasps> hand on top of this bottle of water bro I now when when the developer goes into the pc port you know part of the process what they're going to do is they now have new ideas to push things for for instance like they might go into a scene and go oh we, we have it on pc now we have a little bit more memory we can we can add some fog in here like we always wanted to but it was too much for the for the console they can do a lot of different things like um 
adding in more characters or different stuff. They can populate better foliage because the PC hardware, um, depending on what PC you have, is going to be able to run it better. So they're going to optimize it for like the best PC parts that are available today, like the 4090 or whatever that's out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that being said, this is very important for everybody to remember. One of the main reasons why a PC port will take so long is because it's different architecture and different kind of components, okay? They have to accommodate for all these different things that can happen because on a PlayStation and an Xbox, each one of those has one graphics card <laughs> and it's the same graphics sadly, card. It's the same sadly. kind of architecture inside the, you know, the box as every single PlayStation that's shipped to millions of people. But when it comes to a PC, every single person has a different PC. They're running it differently. They have different hardware in there. They have different kind of yeah. CPUs and GPUs and the memory usage and the different things that the game is doing in the background can sometimes hit a fail and, and mess up during different configurations. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's what it boils down to. They need to test the game more on PC than they would on an Xbox on console, or a PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah, and if you think yeah, it totally makes sense because like, let's be real, PC is going to have so many different combinations. It's going to have like millions and millions of combinations, especially when you pair that up with that CPU, this CPU, that graphics card, this graphics card, the DDR3 RAMs, the DDR4. Now it's like even got that DDR5 RAM oh, though. Shit. DDR5 RAM is out there, bro, which uh, costs more than a kidney right now, bro. Like. RTX 4090, I got that 3090, they got 4090 now. 5090 is eventually gonna come out. Right before we get GTA 6, we're probably, at that point, we're probably gonna have 6090 or something like that. Think about it. You yeah. already have to test the game a ton in order to get it to work. So a PC is even harder. You gotta throw more resources at it. You have to test things a lot more. And when you're doing the PC port, you have to test things on multiple different hardwares, different mm. GPUs, not just one or two, like 10, 20 different ones. And yeah, yeah, yeah. there's so many different configurations out there that you'll just never be able to test them all. And there's a lot of things that can go wrong once you kind of release that PC port because it just hasn't been tested by all, by thousands or yeah. millions of Makes people. Sense. Right? It's Makes only been sense. tested by a thousand people or whatever at work so you can only take it so far so most of the time like you see out there you see arkham asylum that game got you know bashed for its bad pc port but if it, they would have took a little longer probably and ironed it out tested it more man pc players get done absolutely dirty what he's saying is not rocket science it totally makes sense and especially it's a lot more credible because it's coming from an actual rockstar animator so shout out to this guy man Shout out to him, man. Love the guy. Love the guy. Like, we definitely need more devs talking about games like that. Uh, a, he's a former Rockstar animator. Credibility, right? Secondly, he's a lot more passionate about what he... He's passionate about what's talking about, bruh. We, how many devs we've seen that that aren't even passionate? They're just working. And, and that's it. Nothing wrong with that. But, but, but it's like... You, this guy's clearly passionate and what he says resonates very very well it's sad for the pc players i agree my, my pc master race i agree but it'd be what it'd be bruh it'd be what it'd be tested it against different configurations and different things like that and really push things more then it would have made it out okay and unscathed right but a lot of times people are so antsy for the pc part they want it right now but i want it now <laughs> <laughs> yeah Especially GTA. It's hard to do that huh? as a developer because the team isn't big enough. If they had a huge team, they just have one team work on the PC, one team work on the Xbox, and the whole time they'd be trying to optimize all three kind of at the same time, right? But the only thing that's big about GTA 6 is that Lucia Burna, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It just doesn't work that way. We don't have the money, we don't have the resources, we don't have the manpower. What? And so we kind of just prioritize. Nah, stop the cap, bro. Stop the cap. Come on, man. I mean, okay, I understand like for like other devs, but for Rockstar, they have all the money in the world, bro. We talking about Rockstar games, bro. Like what you mean, bro? Like, nah, man, you cap it, bro. You cap it, bro. Ties what's on. best for the company's like money, right? What's gonna sell best? Well, most likely it's the PlayStation. So let's put all our energy into the PlayStation and then the Xbox and then the PC. The PC is getting more and more popular nowadays as you guys can tell if you got a pc shout out to you because this is the time to really push these games to the limits a lot of these games are going to be coming to pc almost every playstation game that's going to be coming out in the future will most likely have a pc port especially if it's a big game because i yeah, think yeah. that's what they're trying to do now is kind yeah, of trying yeah, to get them yeah. because it's the best hardware right they can show the game in its best light so hopefully this gives a yeah like god of war just came uh god of, i'm not sure about ragnarok but but spider-man 2018 came out eventually we're gonna see spider-man 2 come out on pc as well a little bit of a breakdown on why these pc ports take so long it's just yeah, because of i mean shout out to the dev and guys click on this video on the screen because we got the ps5 pro gameplay uh specs leak out alongside gta 6 we had a ton of information in this video click on it and i will see you right there i'll see you right there